What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're hopping back into another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes mod guide going to take a look at Padme Amidala and how I have her modded for gas counters as well as Darth Revan mallet counters. So it should be helpful when you start seeing these lineups in your GACs as well as your arena climb. So before we do that though, if this is your first time on the channel or have been watching for a while and have not hit that sub button, uh, please consider doing that for some more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes videos and guides in the future. All right, let's hop over and take a look at Padme. So the first thing you'll notice here is I do have a full health set on her and that is based on getting as much max protection up as possible when you use Cunning Plan because uh, that's gonna turn into those courage stacks that you need uh, to be able to do that massive damage to get through these gas and Darth Revan teams. So uh, I recommend for these two counters to have health sets. It really does make a big difference in the amount of courage stacks that you can get on those squads. All right, so this is my gas setup. And the main difference that you'll see between this and my Darth Revan setup is the speed. For Darth Revan, you want to have a slow Padme because he's going to put out a lot of initial damage. And you want to set that turn order up to where you're able to, uh, after they put out their initial burst, to come in and use that cunning plan, heal up your team, and then you start your attack. So uh, that's the main difference in the uh, counters is but you're wanting less speed when you're going up against Darth Revan and you're wanting more speed when you're going up against Gas. All right, so for me, how I do that, for uh, the transmitter, I've got an offense primary. That's the only thing that you can have. And the main things that I try to focus on uh, for uh, Padme is speed on secondary stats as well as health. Uh, protection's always good. And then potency is pretty solid for her as well as uh, her kick does have a stun and it's really nice when those land. Uh, so that's what I've got for my uh, transmitter. For the uh, receiver, I've got a speed one for the gas counter. And the main thing, this is a very easy setup and very easy change to change the speed on this. I use a speed receiver for my uh, gas counters. And when I'm going up against Darth Revan, I throw in, let's move this over, I throw in this health receiver here, uh, which has a lot of protection, tenacity, defense, all that good stuff on there. But the main thing is having that more health percentage uh, to be able to get a really big heal, lots of protection up on your squad for uh, that Darth Revan Malak counter. All right, for the processor, I have defense. Obviously, it's the only thing that you can have. Speed, potency. Uh, so this one's an okay mod for her. Uh, for hollow rays, I've got health primary stat, uh, speed, potency, more health on here. Like I said, you're going to want as much health as possible. A uh, data bus has health primary as well. Uh, more speed, more potency, more health. So it's a pretty solid mod for her. And then multiplexer, surprise, surprise, we've got health again. Uh, this one's got tenacity, speed. Uh, tenacity's not bad for her. You definitely don't want her to get stunned. If at all possible, it can definitely slow down the squad. Uh, so tenacity's not bad for her. And then it's got a little bit of offense as well. So uh, that's kind of how that I have her set up. I'll give you guys a look at uh, my current speed for her on this set. So that's got 274 uh, when I have my... Uh, set up for gas in there and then uh let's throw in this other mod real quick and we can take a look it takes it down to 244 uh when i'm going after the darth revan lineups i find that to be pretty good it allows her uh, to get a good turn order going after some of my other characters uh, to allow her to go ahead and get that big heal out uh, before we get the big damage going in those Darth Revan Malak lineups. So I do have uh, some guides on some of those counters, so be on the lookout for those. Uh, but hopefully this was helpful as you start working on your Padme lineup. Uh, this is a really, really solid character, and her team is super solid on uh, being able to knock out some of those top-end meta teams uh, that you'll come up against in GAC and in your arena climb. So uh, be on the lookout for more guides on her and I will see you guys in the next